What's up, everybody? Um, I'm showing you a preview of the new iPhone and iPod Touch 2.0 firmware. I did this using the WinPound beta version, which actually you're not able to do it, but I got this from a custom firmware of somebody else. And I found a way to SSH into it, which gave me the iTunes, and it's the installer, but I renamed it to App Store. So, but these actually don't work, but if you're if you get pissed off at it because really um, the firmware only gives you it makes it look like this it makes it look just like that so if you kind of go crazy over that like me because it's annoying um, then you're able to fix them but the, actually the apps crash because they're made to be on 1.1.4 and I guess 1.1.2 is special or something so it's just like that. So let's go right into it. Um, first, a new thing in Safari and actually email and anywhere that you can possibly go. So if I just go to, let's say I go to Apple, the Apple website, you can now, any image, you can hold on it, just hold on the image. The thing will come up, it'll say either go to URL if you can click it and go somewhere or save a photo. So if I save the photo, automatically saves it into a special department in my photos called Save Photos instead of as on the iPhone it would probably it might be camera roll. So I can all, I do that, stuff like this. I save the Google image, iPhone, calculator. And another thing you're able to do is screenshots. So if I want to take a screenshot of my music player of the of you just take the home button and the uh, and the sleep wake button as if you were to master restore it. So you just press those and the screen will go white real quick. And then you go back in the save photos and there they are. I don't really know why this feature would be useful, but it still is a pretty cool feature. So, I don't know. Next thing is a new calendar. The um, today, list, day, and month are now on the bottom, and it actually has a header that says calendar. Nothing really new when you add a, a new event, so nothing there. But there is a little icon with a tray-looking thing right there and an arrow pointing down. I haven't figured out what that does yet. It's just grayed out. You can't really press it on anything, even if you make a new event or nothing. Um, next thing is the new mail. And um, what's cool is that now you can edit. You just press edit, and now you can check off which ones you want to delete or move. Like that. So if I want to delete it, I can press delete. Or if I wanted to move them, I just move it wherever I want. And that's pretty neat. Contacts is kind of new, nothing special. Even if you don't have any contacts, there is contact search right here. Contact search is enabled. I don't know what people say there isn't or anything, so you just you just contact contact search like that. Or I can just go along the lettering. Contact search is actually enabled even if you have no contacts. Like I have no contacts right there, but it's still enabled. So whatever anybody says about having a couple thousand contacts or anything like that, that's just nothing. Nothing new in, new in YouTube. In stocks, they have added a new stock, which is IXIC. I don't really know what that is. It's NASIC, NASDAQ. I don't know. So maybe that's a new partner of Apple. Now when you press the locate button, instead of just a blue thing there, it moves a little bit. So... I don't know what that's about. As you can see, it kind of moves. So, I don't really know what that's about or why they did that. But what's cool is that it still locates me. And then it goes a little closer and actually pinpoints my location even better. So, that's pretty cool. Nothing new in weather, nothing new in the clock, but the calculator icon has changed as well as the whole calculator, as everyone knows. Whoever, everyone who stays up on this date stuff probably knows. So you just regular, just like that, calculator. 
then it's a scientific mode also. Like that. Which is uh, pretty cool. My math teacher actually thought he had a better calculator to, with, than me. And I kept arguing with him until I turned it on its side, and then he lost. There's a whole new settings pane now. They actually combine the mail, contacts, and calendar settings all in one. So if you go to general, it's a new, complete new outline. And basically, the only thing that's new in the general is the parental controls, which is kind of stupid, unless you're a parent and you want to give your kid an iPhone. Another thing is music. You're now able to turn your lyrics on and off. So if you just wanted to tab it and see the controls, that's OK. But if you still wanted lyrics, just in case, that's how they do it. Um, notes hasn't changed. I wish, I really wish they would add to-do list, a to-do list. If you wanted to make something to do, just like in the uh, Mac OS X mail, that would be a really nice feature. Um, the App Store, obviously, it's just the installer. It keeps crashing. Um, nothing else that I can point out, you guys. Um, just to prove that this is the 2.0 software. Right there. I don't know if you can see that, but it is 2.0. And pretty soon I will be making a video on this showing you how to do this. Alright, bye you guys.